Hey, it's 2021. This is my first video other than my New Year's video for the year. I'm going to be building a covered bridge. It's going to be modeled after a bridge that's standing in Zombroda, Minnesota. Minnesota had three covered bridges. Uh, this one was built in 1869 as a bridge and very shortly after it was built it was covered and it was in service until 1932 then they took it out of service and they put it at the fairgrounds so they moved this thing around a couple of times then they built a park and they moved it into the park and now it's back to standing over the Zumbro River in, in uh, Zombroda, Minnesota, about, oh, maybe 500 feet or so, I don't know, from where it originally stood. It was When it was built, it was red. Then it went to white, and it went back to red. So I'm modeling this thing as if it wasn't moved in 1932, and it stood through the 1950s because that's my layout years. And it's time for me to build one anyway, because these little people, I got people about this big. Yeah, they're about that big on my layout. It's that big. And they've been bothering me and bothering me to build a bridge. It's constant. You know, I, I don't have any water in my river yet. I just painted the river blue to get by until I could all, get all the buildings I need that are associated with the river. But I'm not even finished with that. And they keep bothering me to build a bridge. So... I'm building it. Anyway, after I get the bridge built and set, they're going to have a ribbon cutting ceremony. And I don't want to miss that, so I'm going to be there for that. So if I don't see you after this video, I want you to all take care, have a great day, and I'll see you on my next one. Well, this is the way that my Poor little people that live on my layout have to cross my river. Yeah, I don't have any water in my river. I just painted it, so this is the only way they have to get across. So they have to park their cars on one side and walk across. And you know, I I I just can't let them live like that anymore. So I'm going to build them a bridge next. So I'm going to start off with this kit I have. It's um, it's supposed to be about five and a half inches long, an inch and a half, or inch and a quarter wide, and an inch and a quarter tall. So I think that'll work across my river. But I'm going to try and model this after another bridge, so as well as it being a wood girder bridge, I'm going to cover the outside with some vertical siding to try and match another bridge that I that's that's in our area. In fact, it's the only one left as a covered bridge in the state of Minnesota. Well, this much of it'll be simple enough. There's uh you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces and some roofing. So it's just a matter of painting this up and gluing it together, so that's no big deal. But like I say, I'm going to cover these girders with a siding, so I'm not sure what I'm going to use with that yet. And I would like to cut just a couple windows in it. So I'll see how that goes. Well, I had some leftover plywood. Uh, that I've been using for a few things. So I took that and I cut some plywood and then I scored it with a knife. Try to get that band board to look up there at the top. And uh, kind of make that look like vertical siding. And then I looked at my um, video of this and uh, I think I've got the windows kind of placed where they were on the original one. So that's what the outside's going to look like. 
This will be the other side. And then um, the inside will look kind of like this. But now I'm thinking maybe I should have scored the inside of that plywood too. And I didn't. So it's too late to take it apart. So I guess that's the way it's going to be. Unless I can just score, score it a little bit near the outside edges where you'd see it coming into the um, bridge. I don't know. I'll have to see what I can do with that. Well, I was able to score the back side of that a little bit. So I'm kind of happy with the, with the way that'll look. Now I'm wondering if I should put some cross members in here somewhere. I don't know, it looks pretty pretty good in the inside there. But, you know, there's no girders. I mean, there's no trusses for the roof. It's just two pieces of plywood that's going to be glued on there. So when you look inside, depending on the angle, you won't see anything. So, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to cut up a few boards and just run them across and see if I can uh, at least have something up there so that if I do move the camera up in there later, I'll be able to see some kind of boards. I will see. Well, I'm this far with it. I put in those little cross members. If you can see them there at the top. There, you can see them. They don't have any trusses for this. I think I mentioned that. So, I, I don't know. I just wanted something in there so that if I'm looking through it from the end, I see some kind of wood up there. So, I think that'll work. I'm having trouble with this roof. It's warped. I don't, uh, I don't know if you can see that's just enough and it's pretty stiff. So I'm slicing it in half in order to bend it. Um, then they have a covering that goes over that. I'm not sure if I'll use that. I might use it for now, but... So I'm putting in those, uh, oh, it's going to look like a truss. You can see those little sticks going up towards the roof there. If I show them to you through the opening, you'll see them in there. It kind of looks like a truss. And that's the look I'm trying to get. And then I added a, a skirt board, a bumper curb on the side at the bottoms there on, on both sides well after flip-flopping white red white red white red white red I decided to paint it red to match uh, the bridge that's there now so my idea is well in 1932, they didn't remove the bridge. They kept it, and they painted it, and uh, by the time the 50s came along, it kind of looked like this. So, kind of happy with it. The weathering's coming out the way I thought it would. So, I installed a nano light in there, in the center, and I didn't want to drill holes um, through the bottom and run it up the side of the wall because then you'd see a wire in there and I, I didn't know if I, it would look right so I ran it through the attic and if you see on the right side just under the eave right side of the doorway that's that wire and uh, I don't know what the way the siding looks and everything it looks like somebody just patched something or installed something on the end of the bridge so I'll take that that, that, that come out pretty nice and I'm happy with it. And then the roof, I've got some, uh, I've got some cedar shakes ordered from uh, 
company called Monroe uh, up in uh, St. Cloud, Minnesota. So um, when I get those, I'm going to install the shakes on the on the roof and have a cedar roof just like the original would have had. My shingles came in. So I'm going to install them onto my uh, covered bridge. Well, I installed that and then I tried to weather it so it looked like a, an old Minnesota roof, you know. A lot of the cedar roofs up here um, start going black. I, th I think I've got it. That looks pretty good to me.